Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio and welcome to the third tutorial video for the new Timeline Salsa Core. And this is actually using Timeline Salsa Core version 2.6.0. And when this was released, it was 2.5. But a couple of changes have come about since uh, the Salsa and Emotor video were released. And one was Emotor wasn't working in Unity version 2020 and above, and that has been fixed. Also, Eyes got a couple of changes. So I was making the video for it. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of Eyes control tracks here. I was making the video and I was like, wow, you know, this feature would be kind of nice to have in here. So let me go ahead and make that feature available and then I'll make the video. That way it all comes out at once, okay? So I have put an eyes control track up here on the him emoto guy, and I have put also one under here on the her emoto guy, and these have him and her voice tracks on them. That's why I am calling them him and her. Left, right, okay, our perspective. All right, so let's go ahead and link up our eyes components to these tracks. That's what it binds to, the eyes component. And yes, that's right. Okay, so let's add a control here, eyes control. And let me explain a couple of the changes. So if you jumped in and grabbed version 2.5, you didn't see these buttons up here for the filter all and none, and you didn't see these filter buttons down here. That's what these are, filter buttons. So when we enable them, we filter these settings out so they are not applied. We can undo that, and then we can apply it to all of them. So um, you might find that as soon as you add a control module here or a clip, that it's a good idea to go ahead and filter everything and then unfilter what you want to use. It's up to you. You might find that trips you up. By default, they are not enabled, and uh, that may be fine for what you're doing. You may not need them enabled, okay? Uh, the second thing that's a slight change from the version 2.5 version is that this indicator is now very similar to the emotor indicator. So this indicates uh, in a motor that it's a round trip. We've got one on the front and one on the back. And uh, if you only have it as a one way, then let's do this one way. Then we only have this one, right? So if a round trip, then it, it comes in like this. Now in this one, we are not setting on clip or uh, resetting on clip in. So uh, we only see the one side here. And if we enable this, then we get both of them, all right? So when this is not set, reset on clip end, then this clip can be any length, it, the size does not matter. Uh, it Once it hits this leading edge, it sets whatever settings you have enabled here, and then it checks out, okay? So that can be any size when that's not enabled. If it is enabled, then the size does matter, and Whatever the settings are, once it hits uh, the leading edge here, it records all of these settings and then it makes the changes. So like if I turned head off, lids off, and head and lids are not off beforehand, um, this is her. So if we look down here, head is enabled, okay? And lids is enabled. So it's going to record those as enabled and it's going to turn them off once it hits here. And then it's going to restore whatever those settings were, which was on and on like this, right? At the end, okay, when it leaves it. So reset on clip end, restores whatever settings were set or disabled or whatever, what, whatever state of uh, these settings, it restores them on the end, the clip end, okay? On this particular one, we'll put this back. And uh, what we want to do is have her go ahead and look at him, right? So let's have her look at him. We'll drag him in there. And we'll immediately see that was a bad idea because she's gonna look at his feet. Lack of feet, she's gonna say, dude, there are no feet there. She's not gonna recognize that she doesn't have feet, right? Now, uh, also, what you might have noticed that happened just that time was it. Uh, we had her look at him, and then when she was done, she didn't move immediately. That's because it's just it's just random. So it it it'll move around 
randomly. Whatever the settings are on the component will govern how frequently or how much it moves around, okay? So if you want to make sure she moves somewhere, well, first off, let's let's have her not look at his feet. Let's, uh, we, what we could do is we could have her look at a different thing like his eye, or we can add, you know, we can do something totally different. We can add a, an empty here and call it him target. Whoops. Him target. And we look at the scene. And we can see that's not going to work either because that's, it's grabbing the same exact position as the root of that one. So we want to pull that up and make sure we're out here somewhere so she's going to look in that direction and let's go back to game eyes and we'll try the him target at that point okay so this should work we should look in the right position okay yep that looks good let's do it now though where her head doesn't turn so we'll, we will disable this and we'll see that the unique technology her eyes move. Okay. Lip -sync automation for your 2D and 3D character processes. And uh, what we could could have done was, you know, maybe disable the random. Uh, well, no, that wouldn't work because the head will still track over. So, like, if I disable random and I leave head enabled, it's still going to swivel the head over to look at at him, right? It's just going to turn random off. Boom. And random only occurs when there is no target to look at all right so you got to understand that nuance uh random means that when head is enabled or any of these are enabled they can randomly move around if there is a target they will not randomly move around unless affinity takes over so if you have affinity enabled and you don't have this random then there's not going to be any chance for the affinity to to fire off also if we disable the head so that she just looks at him with her eyes, the unique technology boom, eyes look over, and we have affinity enabled. Affinity won't do anything at that point because the head's disabled, and the uh, the head needs to swivel around for the affinity to uh, take effect. Okay, so you've got to consider all of those things. All right, so we've got her looking at him. We'll have her do that until she decides she's going to talk. Uh, we can go ahead and do a reset on clip end at that point, and she'll return. Uh, well, she'll start randomly moving around, but it may not be enough. So what we might want to do, let's go ahead and see what happens. And remember, it's random, so this could be different every time. Head's disabled, so only the eyes are looking. We release, and then she starts moving around. Okay, so that's fine. But maybe we want to uh, kind of swivel her over to... We've got a couple of targets in here. Maybe we want her to swivel this way. Okay, so let's add another control clip in here. And we want her to go ahead and swivel this way. And so let's add, I believe that's target two. Yeah. Okay. So we'll throw target two in there. That means she'll look in that direction. Maybe we want that to, we just want to swing her around real quick. So we'll, we'll do a reset on clip in. We'll basically set target two and then we'll put, and then she'll flop back into uh, random mode after that, right? Because we'll clear that target. We can watch that happen. Uh, let's flip back here. Should get him target. And as soon as we get here, him target will be disabled, and then it'll get target two, and then that'll be disabled right here. So she gets that, she swivels around to that target two, and then she's released from it again, okay? All right, so that, I think, demonstrates that. Okay, now let's let him look at her, and we'll add an eyes control. So right around in here uh as she starts talking maybe we do the same thing uh we'll set it so that the head stops and we get and we'll just throw her eye in on that one okay and i think we'll, we're good here we'll leave all these set we're not going to reset and clip in so he'll be looking at her through the end of this this timeline Boom, he's looking at her, he gets all surprised, she's talking, and then he's not surprised anymore, but he's still looking at her, and he's still talking, okay? So, we can either make this reset on clip in, make the length matter, or we can 
add another clip in here. And this particular one, we will re-enable the head and uh, basically disable the lip target. Okay, so that's what's going to happen here. And again, this can be you know however long because we're not resetting. We can also uh, give these a title, so we can say uh, reset. We'll just call it reset. It's not very imaginative, but that's what we're going to call it. Okay. So let's do this. The unique technology behind the salsa provides high quality lip sync automation. She's looking at him. And, 3D salsa processes audio files and then he looks at her. Like, wow, I can't believe you're talking over me. And then this should be reset. Now he's looking around again. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, add another eyes control. Oh, I want to do some blinking. Uh, actually, we can leave it down here. Let's just do her. We'll blink her. Add eyes control. We'll call this blink. And we are going to trigger a blink. And that's all we do. There is no filter on trigger blink because this is just a one-time thing. So it triggers a blink and it's done. It's not like there's a setting to filter out or anything. Uh, if you don't want it to do this, then you just don't enable it. Okay. So no filter for this one. So let's also disable random. We want to disable the random blink here. Let's go ahead and just play this. I want to demonstrate something. All right, so we'll see her. Okay, she's blinking. And then, boom, she blinks. She's not blinking anymore. Oh, she's blinking again. Well, why did that happen? Because we didn't reset it on clip end. Well, what happened was this one up here, this one's set to set blink right? And it recorded Blink, and it's resetting on clip end. So at the beginning, blinking was on, so it recorded that. So once it got to the end of this, it restored blinking, right? So it set Blink. Blink was already on, so that didn't really do anything. But then it restored Blink on at the end because this particular one had turned it off. Okay? So if we don't want that to affect it, what we can do is filter it. In fact, we might say all we're doing is is actually applying this head and this target. So let's filter everything except the head and the target. And then that way we know we're only applying these changes, okay? So what we should get now is we, we shouldn't see that behavior, but we got this one doing the same thing. So what we need to do is we need to do the same thing here. So we're, that one was actually changing the target. And it was turning the head back on, right? Because this one turned it off. Well, this one was going to restore it. So I guess technically we don't even need to do this because this one should restore that head at the end. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. The unique technology behind the salsa provides high quality. Uh oh, I turned head off. What did I do? Oh, I filtered it. This particular one. Uh, I didn't want to do that. We want to turn head off. I had, I must have had the wrong one selected. Let's see. Yep, I did. Doggone it. All right. Let's go back here. Make sure you've got the right clip enabled. <laughs> Another training moment there. All right. So she's looking at him and bam, blinks. No more blinking. No more blinking. So blinking is off on her. Let's pause this real quick. Let's look at her. Great. Great. That, that was perfect there, wasn't it? Uh, so let's go down here to eyelid and random blink is off. Okay. So it's still off. It's going to stay off the whole time because uh, we disabled it here and we had it filtered in these. So it's not being changed. All right. So you see the effect of the filter. The filter will prevent the control module from making changes that you don't expect, right? Which we saw here, which uh, was kind of a weird thing. So the filter, you know, before, without these filters, you had to then decide, all right, well, I've got to, you know, really all I want to set here is the target. But now, since I'm doing blinking and all this, I've got to consider all of that. So maybe I've got to turn blink off here as well. And, uh, and maybe we want to do that. Maybe we want blink to turn off here. Let's do that. And then we'll do multiple blinks. And, uh, and then we'll turn the blinks back on 
Well, actually, let's just leave them off. But first off, we want to turn them off. So we don't want any blinking to occur after we get here. And we, we want to manually control the blinks. And uh, first off, this is filtered. So I got to turn the filter off, right? So we want to actually enable that. Uh, but we're going to see a problem here because we've got to reset on clip in, don't we? All right. So we've got to consider that. Now, in this particular instance, that's going to be kind of weird. So maybe we don't want to do that because we don't want to reset it here. Maybe what we do is we put another control module, eyes control, up here that all it does, let's turn on all the filters, and all it does is turn off blink. Let's unfilter that. Turn off blink here. We don't want it to blink. We just want to turn blinking off, okay? So we want her to wait to blink until we get to this one. And then she's going to blink. Uh, blink's already off. Uh, we can go ahead and filter all this other stuff here too. We don't even really need to turn it off because it's already off at this point, right? So we, that's all we did on this one. In fact, we can call this blink off, okay? And then we're going to have her blink. This particular one, she's going to blink. And let's go ahead and duplicate this, I don't know, a few times here. All right. And then maybe uh, we'll turn blink on. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one more time. Drag this out here. And we'll turn blink on. And uh, we don't want to trigger a blink at that point. We just want to turn random blinking on. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. So this should turn, actually, let's uh, mute all this other nonsense going on here. So we're just watching what's happening here. But blinking is turned off. Now blink, 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 blink. No more blinking. And then random blinking starts again. Okay. The timeline, <clears throat> the timeline also ended there, so we didn't really get to see much. You get the idea. Uh, filtering will remove settings from interfering with other settings when they don't need to. Okay. And again, they only apply to things that are actually changing states that uh, uh, need to be returned back on or off, either at the clip end or some other mechanism from behind the scenes. Trigger blink doesn't need to be filtered because it, it's not enabled unless you enable it, okay? And it's only a one and done sort of deal. Anyway, that about does it for this. Hopefully, uh, that explained the eyes module for Timeline Salsa Core. As always, we look forward to seeing what you create, and we'll see you in the next video. Y'all take care.